Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose Report. If I look kind of strange every once in a while, the sun is going down. It's in my face. All right. Indie women's wrestler Brittany Savage will be getting a WWE, uh, rather, a TNA uh, tryout in November. Brittany lost the WWE tryout match to Beth Phoenix on SmackDown last year and uh, was former tag champion with NXT rookie AJ Lee. Uh, Thursday's uh, live episode of TNA Impact did a 1.32, uh, which was up. Uh, anyway, I think it was up uh, 1.2, I think it was last week. Uh, so anyway, I don't know whether the increase of a little, you know, like a 1.2, I mean a point, uh, one two rating was due to being live or what, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know whether we're hurting TNA or not, or if that's just the best they can do. I'm not sure. Anyway, this week's show did hours of uh, 1.32 and 1.33 with an average of 1,732,000 people. TNA Reaction also aired live and did a 0.71 rating with about uh, 900,000 people watching. The fourth quarter uh, hour, which Mickey James debuted in, the knockout tag team match, was the second highest rated quarter hour uh, segment with a 1.40 rating. The highest of the night was the fallout from Ric Flair versus uh, Mick Foley with a 1.44 rating. So maybe the old classic people do bring in the ratings. And that's awful because maybe they got some other really good wrestlers in TNA. Uh, anyway, do what you gotta do. A commercial for TNA Turning Point uh, pay-per-view in November was advertised. It's Abyss versus Sting, and Kurt Angle defended World Heavyweight Title against Rob Van Dam. Kane versus Edge versus Big Show versus Undertaker is being advertised for a November 30th SmackDown taping in uh, Northport, Virginia. Uh, Play.com in the UK will have the Lords of Darkness edition of WWE SmackDown versus Raw 2011 with pre-order uh, bonuses, I guess. And it's going to be including a, an Undertaker cover and an Undertaker art card. I'm not sure what that is. And a Ministry of Darkness in-game costume for Taker and WWE Unforgiven uh, 2007 DVD where Taker returns to defeat Mark Henry. Oh, shoot, I forgot. I was supposed to... I'm going to have to do it uh, maybe Monday or so uh, on the... Uh, I told you I was going to give you a rundown of it uh, 10 years ago in Raw. I forgot all about it. Anyway, Alberto Dorio's, please forgive me. Alberto Dorio's father, Legend Dars, Dos uh, Caras, appeared with him uh, at a WWE live event Thursday night in Monterey, Mexico. Del, uh, Del Rio was booed by the fans while his father was cheered. Del Rio uh, defeated Kofi Kingston. Mick Foley's book signing in Lexington. Kentucky yesterday was canceled and had been rescheduled for now on October 19th. Please make a note of it. Promoters told fans that Foley was injured and he confirmed his injury on his Twitter blaming the rescheduling on an injury related travel problem. Foley noted later that he was starting to walk better. So I don't know if he twisted his ankle or something going on a plane or uh, WWE advertised John Cena vs. Sheamus vs. Randy Orton for a live Raw taping in November to, uh, uh, November 8th in Manchester, England. Randy Orton and Sheamus is advertised for November 6th and 7th in Birmingham and Nottingham for a November 9th show in London. Orton vs. Sheamus is scheduled with Bret Hart as special enforcer. For SmackDown shows, November 4th in Belfast, November uh, 6th in Liverpool, November 7th in Glasgow, uh, November 8th in Newcastle, advertised main events, Big Show versus uh, Undertaker and versus Kane for the world title. Hope you guys over there, that's going to be pretty good shows in England. WWE SmackDown uh, event in Monterey, Mexico, Thursday night saw the lowest attendance in that city for a WWE main event in six years. The main event saw Rey Mysterio defeat Kane. Uh, by DQ and Alberto, he interfered. Listing for WWE's 2011th uh, Elimination Chamber pay-per-view has been fixed with the correct date, February 20th. 
Score previously announced the February 27th, but WWE since corrected it. The show is scheduled to take place in New York City. Legendary hip hop star Wu Tang Yang. I didn't know uh, Wu Tang Clang was still around, but anyway, a uh, member of the RZA has announced former WWE star Batista is going to be joining the cast of his new movie, The Man with the Iron Fist, starring Academy Award winner uh, Russell Crowe. Didn't, uh, somebody, uh, sounds familiar. The newest member of WWE Raw roster uh, will be CM Punk, who will be working house shows in Anaheim, California. He's set to make his uh, debut on Raw this Monday in Seattle. This would explain why Punk... Hey, man. Hi. How you doing? Pretty good. All right. Now I'm alone. Uh, this would kind of explain the uh, why Punk was written out of SmackDown recently and uh, the dismemberment of the Straight Edge Society. Oh, we miss them. All right, WWE Magazine features Undertaker on the cover this month. Celebrity news site uh, HollywoodLife.com is reporting that WWE is negotiating with top team star Justin Bieber to sing the American Beautiful at WrestleMania 27. It says, it's so perfect to have Justin Bieber perform in front of 70,000 plus fans. Is this going to be amazing? So perfect, their uh, sources say. It's uh, still a work of progress, but it would be uh, a lot of fun. Well, guys, we must be into just hardcore PG. I guess all of us adults must just, maybe they just want us to go somewhere else. I hope not. All right, CM Punk was originally scheduled to do commentary with uh, Josh Matthews, uh, Michael Cole in the final uh, NXT on Sci-Fi last week, but was pulled. Punk has lost his stable and has been uh, losing cleanly lately and is said to be in no danger with the company, but they just don't have anything for him to do. Uh, let me go on. I think I might have said that the other day. Let me go on down here and see what else I've got. It announced that last night at SmackDown taping, the big show would be team of, uh, well, be the team captain for Team SmackDown at Bragging Rights pay-per-view, and it appears a new buster is Trent Breda and Kalen Croft uh, will be headed to Raw after this Friday's episode of SmackDown. WWE did an angle where the team asked Big Show to be a part of the um, SmackDown team, and when, they, uh, when he refused, they revealed they're wearing Raw t-shirts, and I think Big Show tore them off of them. Uh, Michael Cole apparently is joining SmackDown announcing the team after joining Todd Grisham, Mike Sh Mac Stryker, uh, at last night's uh, taping, fans uh, in attendance reported that Cole played the heel role more than usual and talking about how he was the voice of WWE. Uh, final footage of the documentary of the Hall of Famer Ted DiBiase's life was filmed this past week in uh, New Jersey. At, it was kind of like a this, this is your life type event. DiBiase thought he was going to go be making a religious speaking appearance and shocked to find out all of his friends and family were there to honor him. And DiBiase followed the film, uh, uh, followed and the filmed uh, for uh, over a year his life, and including the Hall of Famer's induction last year. Uh, the film is now being edited. All right, Edge now officially on the SmackDown roster. Chris Jer Jericho is going to be making his first WWE post wrestling. WWE appearance at Ring uh, Side Fest in New York City on Saturday, October 30th at Caroline's on Broadway. King, Kane and The Miz is also expected to be there too. And uh, there was a one, I can't remember whether I had it on the info line or on here, but one of you guys left a message think, saying something about the walls are, coming, are tumbling down on uh, you know, TNA. They've been saying that. The walls are... He said, could it mean Chris Jericho was heading over to TNA? The walls a bit. I don't know. Who do you think is going to be they at TNA? I think I mentioned earlier in the week who uh, uh, rumored, you know, they is, but I, I, don't, I don't know. I just don't... If that's it, man, that's going to be a real disappointing they surprise, but that's happened before. But hey, I better get off of here. It's uh, dark. The sun's even gone now. And I guess I better go. I gotta go.